Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Thursday the 17th of September. So before I get on with the data uh, or the technical analysis, let's just look at the uh, what happened yesterday. So Fed Feds remained pretty dovish there and have provided support for some time. Now I'm quite surprised the dollar's really gained on that dovishness, but it has a little bit, but we're seeing bounces at the moment on the certainly on the Euro we'll look through these markets in a moment. But it's is there's not there was nothing significant in that to change things largely for me, but we'll, as I say, we will see. It could be a, a bit of a, a catalyst for this uh, big correction that it's supposed to be seeing with the dollar. Aside of that then, today we have uh, we've already had the Bank of Japan leaving rates alone and we've got the UK coming out at 12 o'clock which are expected to leave rates alone and everything is expected to be left as as, as ever. I don't expect too much from that 12 o'clock um, uh, conference there. So all, all due out at 12 o'clock there is, I can't see anything else, there's no uh, conference afterwards by looks of things so um, no conference. There we are. So very unlikely anything's going to really change from that. So that, that's it for the day, really. Um, oh, sorry, we've got the CAD ADP non-farm uh, employment data at 1.30. But uh, the other other numbers that the only other thing is US unemployment claims at 1.30. Might, they have been given a little bit more of a movement, but not significant. So looking at the technical scene phew, at last. Um, so catching it, maybe a, a, this is the first test of this uh, daily 50 for. Uh, the euro and catching a bit of a bounce it's still in my uh, my zone there which is uh, the support zone anyway it's, it might just pitch the fraction out um, for that uh, move but uh, maybe putting a reversal in where we're sitting we'll see how this pushes up but um, the daily pivots above I will watch this and may maybe trading this back for that this morning that's um, my favorite part of it but uh, as ever I'll keep open-minded I just need it to uh, run past 8 o'clock and if it uh, uh, breaks to the downside well then I'll probably step aside for a little while and see how the things shape up my preference is to there's not a lot being changed in the news let's look at the technicals it's getting a bounce maybe it'll get a bounce a little bit further right the pound has got news coming out today probably best left but or even though I don't think he'll see anything in the way of changes the amazing thing here with the pound is it's still holding up uh, whereas it been it really took a, a selling off week last week it's uh, this week three days up so far okay it could be the uh, the end of it but to me it looks a bull flagish sort of bit here okay it's a bear flag big picture uh, but in this shorter time frame well arguably it's just coming out of a ball flag it's whether it can push on through here um, so it did find support um, put this on yesterday actually it's regre regression channel it's found support off of it because I probably because I put it there anyway um, at the moment then uh, still looking bo uh, bullish at the moment the pound dolly yen no changes there the Yen's continued its uh, stronger movement. We could have said this was uh, a risk trade. Well, if the pound was, uh, this is the pound is as well at the moment. It's uh, continuing its uh, um, southbound move. Maybe, well, I was looking for this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, maybe that 104.50 and beyond uh, could be approached now. It's, it's not not giving me any setup, but not showing me anything too much here at the moment. I was just looking to see if there's a bit of divergence, but it's already got, I mean, it's worked off that maybe any movements there. So it's retrace at the moment, still looks bearish there. So dollar, dollar yen. Aussie dollar. Some weakness in this overnight there then. Um, yesterday ended up, we've said doji doji. In fact, we've had doji 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 the last three days. I did say that, well, we did on look at the analysis on Monday, and there is a, a shuffle of um, money coming away from the Aussie dollar in terms of the commitment of traders report. However, um, the dollar itself is not, the US dollar is not strong either. A um, bit of divergence across those highs on the four hourly, it has broken down and sold off. Um, it couldn't hold on to its gains there through the Asian session. 
even though the jobs report came out half decently it's caught its daily pivot so it's taken that target away it well we could see a continued sell off here I, I would be looking at this at some stage to be a, a prob possibly a longer term buy if it uh, holds off down here but for now um, it's not, it's, it'd be a difficult one for me to buy today at this stage anyway but uh, I wouldn't really want to be on the sell side of that it's been too strong for too long Canadian dollar Canadian dollar a bit of softness here um, broken a little uh, trend that was sit sitting across about on the dailies there it's really done very little this week uh, it, we have got data as I said out later at 1.30 for the Canadian dollar but uh, again a bit of softening going through the markets uh, we'll see how this pans out and not again well actually looking in the short term here this looks weakness to me bit of divergence across these highs is actually fractionally double divergence by looking at across those highs there this could uh, see a re we could see a retrace on this market okay I don't generally move from Canadian dollar to oil. Oil might be picking up and seeing a bit of a pick up on the on the fact that we're seeing the, the uh, storms and production cuts in the US. Uh, but uh, we'll see how much how long that lasts for. Had has recovered quite strongly this week so far, uh, back into the 40s. Um, there's still a massive overproduction. I don't really trust it too much. I don't trust my oil trades at the moment. Um, it may 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 catch catch the bit at some stage here, but uh, it, as I say, looking at it, well, a bull flag on this time frame. It's well worth waiting to see if it it breaks out again. It did certainly broke out of the previous wedge there and pushed up there, but the storms are slowing U.S. production up. Okay, uh, gold questions we always have on gold. Gold has sold off through the Asian session there a bit but when you come back to dailies it's still in this holding pattern 50 MA is key uh, daily 50 is key to me in, in, in as support at the moment a break of that would see me looking a little more bearish but uh, conditions are right for gold to actually hold up or improve and we, it's just coming off its uh, weekly pivot first touch that weekly pivot so that's taps out of the way Maybe we'll see a bit of a correction on this later as well. It, it, there's a couple of these markets just, I don't like the idea of shorting them. They've, they've got quite extended on the short side, uh, but at this stage, I'm not really looking to buy either. So and gold would be one of those markets. Finally, S&Ps. Again, selling off. We've got ideal conditions for the S&Ps yet. It's sold off. Um, sold off at the moment anyway. And well, if it can't hold on to its gains with such accommodating monetary policy I do wonder if this has got more downside within it um, certainly soft all the way through the Asian session but watch out for the uh, I mean it's right I mean again it very extended on my book here we right through into the S3 sort of levels N again not a place I'm looking to really buy from at the moment it's not showing anything but don't, I mean it may just continue through the day but it's had such uh, we've seen such big moves through these Asian sessions on some of these things which I would just leave alone and wait and see if they consolidate okay so personally um, the trade I'll possibly most likely be looking for is along on the euro for the morning I wish you a great day and I will catch you tomorrow bye for now Thank you.